Good afternoon, everybody. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. I'm just going to give you another evidentiary video of the criminal up the block from me. So he started here. This is in front of my driveway. And we're just going to keep going. Please ignore the, the rumbling sound. I've got my wagon with me to pick up any debris that may have fallen. So this is what he did. Let's see, I'll walk a little faster so you're not so bored. So then he stopped. He stopped and then he turned over here. Look. See what he did here? So there's this and then there's that. And for all you guys out there that drive trucks and stuff, you know what this is. Okay, so then he stopped. And then he revved up again, starting here. See that? This is how immature and moronic these people are. Jealous envious this is this is not normal behavior guys it's not normal and the fact that the sheriff's department thinks this is normal says something about uh, the sheriff's department it doesn't matter if i'm targeted or not this is a county road and this guy is harassing me vandalizing the county road creating noise pollution and it was all deliberate. It was all a staged event because you saw from the video, he started from his block, drove to my house, my driveway, deliberately did a U-turn. He was not going anywhere. Drove down this county road and did a U-turn down at the intersection and drove back, drove back home up the block guarantee this is the same guy that damaged my field last year. He may even be the same person dumping trash on my property. And yeah, we'll give a shout out to Daniel Isaacs, the sheriff doing a good job. Good job. Keep a crime low in Jackson County, Kentucky. And this is what the three Masons did here. Look. got it here you can see that and this county road that was fixed two years ago look at how well it was fixed no rebar underneath okay so then he stops up oh wait what what's here they left some trash here this is witchcraft okay look, look what I've got here witchcraft wires here. Witchcraft. He likely threw this out onto the property. Witchcraft. So here you go. We're going to continue. We'll continue over here so you can see what's going on here. And look the way he swerved. And this is where he made that big loud sound. I'm not going to go all the way down the road. But you see here? And then he stopped. He stopped here. You know why? Because then there's my neighbor's house and he didn't want to damage her, the driveway in front of her house. So he stopped here. And this is what it looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. And while I'm down here, I'll pick up some branches, but I just wanted to show you the damage that this creature did. It was deliberate. Um, it was obviously set up. The criminals involved are obviously aware of it. They're aware that he was doing it. He was probably paid to do it. But he seems like the kind of guy that he'd do it just for the hell of it because he likes 
to harm people. He likes to, he, he gets sadistic pleasure out of performing this ridiculous stunt. This is something that teenagers do, right? I mean, I don't even remember growing up and having the teenagers operate like this. This is bullying behavior. Bullying behavior. So I'm gonna move over because there's somebody driving down here. But this is bullying behavior. Oh, somebody was driving down, but they drove up the, um, they drove up that road where that guy lives. Bullying, disgusting, bullying behavior. And I want to show you what they did to my property here. I cleaned all of this up last year, and look. They're digging underneath the trees. This is not normal erosion. This doesn't happen over one winter. I cleaned all of this up and we did not even have a bad winter. It didn't even warrant this kind of destruction. But that's what these people do. They will do anything for me to not sell the property or not get what it's worth. And they did the same thing at 52 Sutton Drive in Manalva. And I'm, I'm just crunching here. I'm just picking up some branches here. So I hope everybody's doing well on this Saturday. Um, it's uh, kind of, it got a little bit warmer. It was cold overnight. I was surprised. It was only supposed to be in the 50s, but when I woke up, it was like 45 degrees. That's pretty much the way it is. You never know when it's gonna be cold or what. But here comes, uh, here comes the perpetrator too. Oh yeah, look at the, the emblem on the back of the car. And look at her nasty face too. Her nasty face for having my camera out. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you what this person did to the county road. He thought he was doing it to me. Um, it, it says more about him than it will ever say about me. Um, all I do is clean up my property, and all these people do is destroy it. I don't know what their problem is. It, this goes beyond being a targeted person. It goes beyond being targeted, because these people seem to hate it when you care for your property. They hate it. It's almost like they don't want the place where they live to improve in value because whatever an individual does here to their property increases the value of everybody's property. So obviously they don't want to increase the value of their own property. Here, look, this is what they do. Dropping DNA, Red Bull. Dropping DNA here. And I'm... Um, my neighbor's property looks spick and span, perfect. Nobody ever bothers hers, only mine. So you can't say that this is erosion when it's not happening to everybody. It's only happening to me. There's nothing going on in her property, zero. Only mine. And the, the irony, and it could be that she wasn't home last night. You know, it is Friday night, and some married people do go out, have a date night, or just go out. She may or may not have been home to hear what happened. But if she was home and wasn't alarmed by it, that says something now, doesn't it? It's one thing to... Keep your mouth shut about certain things. But when you know that someone else is being deliberately harmed for what appears to be no obvious reason, and you go along with that, that says a lot about your morals, your values, your decency. Yeah, you can say all you want. Oh, well, I'm such a good person. Oh, I would have done this for you. I would have done that for you. But I haven't seen it. I haven't seen 
anyone speak up about these atrocities. I haven't. They just seem to gaslight the situation. They know it's not normal. They know that they're participating. I mean, is this normal? Is that normal? It's not normal. Look at that. You hear my birdies? My, my birdies are down there. They're, they're so excited because the grass is getting cut. And, um, and after the grass is cut, the, the vibration of the mower brings up all the, um, all the bugs. So the guineas love that. The chickens too, but not as much as the guineas. The guineas are like, they just love to eat. They eat bugs all day long. They especially like ticks. <laughs> For anybody who's interested in getting these little birdie creatures, they especially like ticks. So anyway, um, I'm going to sign off for now because I need two hands to pick up some of these branches. Again, I want you to see, I want you to see what this person did. This is Lorraine Alternative Hemp Sitting, signing off for now.